hello welcome back to my channel today i have something really exciting that i am including in this video <sighs> number one is that i'm actually going to attack shop right now because i'm going to purchase the lumiere mist saddle pad finally i don't know how long i've actually been saying that i'm going to purchase a saddle pad for and I'm actually now going to do it. The other fun thing that I have is I bought a GoPro. Um, so I now have a GoPro to include all the clips of me riding. And I've also got some clips that I took a few days ago of when we went hacking. So I'll include those in this video as well. But then I'm also going to include my schooling session today with Blondie. So yes i'm very very excited to see how it turns out um and let me know what you think of the footage and things and whether you think it's good or not so yeah the other day i went shopping um to another cat shop but i didn't actually film it because it was just like a brief trip um and then i did some online shopping like i said so i've got blondie some travel boots because i'm planning on doing some traveling this summer um, I'm thinking of doing some arena hires and doing some shows, so I'm very, very excited for that. Um, so yeah, I got these spotty Supreme products, really nice, like, fleece travel boots, there's a set of four in there. And then I also got a tail guard, so very, very exciting. And then also, I, this isn't sponsored or anything, don't worry, <laughs> this is a genuine, like, review, I guess. Um, so I am a monthly subscriber to Four Lock and Fringe um and this month i actually have everything in here of like last month this month everything so this was last month um this is just like a sponge um with like a massage thing and then i got some treats which i actually haven't given her yet um and then this was also in last month it is a itch away no rinse wash oh god i can't speak and then this month i got this awesome um fly mask oh my god i almost said fly veil it's not fly veil um awesome it's so cute um and then also got some treats and a summer spray active citrus coat application and then obviously these i'm not going to take to the yard because these are for me <laughs> um but yeah i really really love the four lock and fringe boxes so if you've ever considered getting them i would 100 percent do it even if you just get one um just give it a go like honestly i don't think that you will regret it it is so cool i love it i love looking forward to it like every month it's like christmas and then finally the last thing that i bought when i went shopping is dream coat because i keep saying to myself i'm gonna get some dream coat i really want some dream coat so here we go so excited so yeah i've got lots of things to transport to the yard today I do a quick outfit of the day so obviously my shirt is the Lemure sleeveless base layer in mist and then I have my black heart equestrian riding leggings <laughs> and then also my Lemure Union Jack footsies. So I've got my GoPro here and basically it has a little attachment to my helmet which I've already put on because obviously I went hacking um so literally i just attach it to my helmet and it records my whole ride which is so cool so yeah i can't wait for you to see the clips from that very very exciting right i've packed everything to take to the yard so let's go to the tat shop oh another thing i've got to show you can i please get a round of applause because i actually cleaned my bridle yeah look at how nice this bridle is now it's literally sparkling i uh, got some new cleaner so i decided to clean it and it looks awesome Okay, I swear to God, every time that I come to this tech shop, there is always like a huge rail outside with like loads of new sale stuff. It's like they're trying to get me to spend my money and it's gonna work. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at these, it's like polo shirts and everything. Look, 25 pounds for an area. Polo. I like the grey one. The grey one's cute. I also really like the navy one. Oh my god, look, leggings, everything. Oh my god. Excuse the background noise, but there's also like white jods, there's everything. Oh my god. Look! Belts. Wow. So cool. This is all on sale. 
Oh my goodness. Let's have a look at the Lemieux stuff. Please do ignore the background noise. I really like this set, actually. This colour's cute. Oh my god. <laughs> that noise is really annoying, but... I think I'm gonna get the eye up for them. Okay. Do ignore the noise. But there's some stuff that I wanted to get. I need to double check what it was that I wanted. Um, oh, just now I'm coming. Might have to get one. Oh my god. Here it is. Mini. That's what I want. That's what I'm getting. I mean it when I say that every time I go into that shop, <laughs> I spend all my money. So, let me do a mini haul. This is the back. And then this is the the main event, obviously. I They let me keep this, which is rare. I thought they didn't let you keep the things, but yep. I got the saddle pad in mist, so it matches me. And then... I also got some Saracen's recovery mesh because I wanted to start giving it to her because it's so hot um, and we go out hacking, we go out schooling and whatnot. I just wanted something to give her to sort of rehydrate. So I got a little bag of Saracen's recovery mesh and then I got the matching fly veil. I didn't get the Loire one because I feel like the Loire fly veils are just like like you don't need it you like this one's fine and it's also like a lot cheaper so got that one what else did i get oh i found this you'll see on the vlog that i found this this is a um carte martin color enhancing shampoo for chestnut and palomino horses so i was like oh my god because i was looking at the um shampoos and i couldn't see one for palominos and i was like oh well, like blondie's been left out but i found one i found one and then finally what else did i get oh i got this the um, Naff Off Extra Effect Equine Fly Repellent Gel because she got bitten by loads of horse flies when we were out hacking um, and I felt very sorry for her so I did spray her with a fly spray before we went but I think that the sprays just like don't last as long so it's just like oh you know, I'd rather just have the gel and then put the gel on her because um, then that's kind of like longer lasting but so i am now just gonna grab something to drink because i'm absolutely sweating right now I'm just get out safely i'm going to get starbucks oh and then make my way to the yard protesting I think protesting in the shade <laughs> that she doesn't want to doesn't want to come out yet I saw that little spin hello hello look at her she's like no go away hello you've got those nasty flies Okay, I'm just pausing it here because I just wanted to say the next few clips um, are what I took on the GoPro um, and I know now watching the videos back that the GoPro was just a little bit like aimed too high, I should have put it a bit lower.
that you can see a little bit better so don't worry that is something that I will change for the future um, yeah just thought I'd put that in there in case in case you've already wondered why it's so high up <laughs> to the riding clips um also <laughs> i'm just gonna um state the obvious right now my voice is not what it usually is because i actually have come down with the flu um in the summer which sucks but you know we move um so before i hopped on her i walked her around the school once um just in hand just to make sure that she was comfortable and relaxed um, and also I was using a schooling whip for the first time with her um, I wasn't really sure how she was going to react um, because she is so sensitive I didn't want her to freak out or think that I was going to whip her with it or anything nasty so I was basically just like waving it around in front of her just like desensitizing her to it just in case you know when I'm on board she sees it in the corner of her eye she doesn't freak out because she doesn't know what it is um, so that's basically what I started off by doing and then as you can see I hopped on board um, basically just did the same thing as what I always do I start off by giving her quite a long walk um, and also as you can see here I'm just testing my brakes so I'll sort of walk her and then I'll bring her back to halt and then I'll give her a scratch and move her forward um, so basically our issue at the moment is that she's incredibly nappy um, and it's not just in the school, she is just a nappy horse in general. Um, I try to only have her in the school once or twice a week just so that she, it doesn't make it any worse. Um, but this day she was being a little bit particularly nappy and I, I've only schooled her I think twice, three times um, just on our own so it's a little bit you know, a little bit new for her still, um, and I'm focusing on getting her moving forward into trot at the moment, because she doesn't like going forward into trot, which is so bizarre, because she goes forward into trot on the lunge, um, super freely, like no, no hassle whatsoever, it's just when I'm on board, so that's why I needed the schooling whip, just to see if it could usher her forward a little bit, um, and it actually did, so she was still quite nappy, even with the schooling whip, but I wasn't using it to, you know, give her a, a heavy tap. It was just a light, tiny bit of encouragement because she can be super sensitive um, and I didn't want to make things worse and have her rearing up or anything um, like that. So, yeah, that's basically the aim of the session today. She went really, really well. Um, as you can probably tell by the videos, um, I'll, I'll hold off and let you watch. Well done. Good girl! Well done! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Well done, sweet! 
Good girl. Well done. Well done. Good girl. Oh, you're such a good girl. Well done, blondes. You're doing so well. I know. Good girl. Good girl. Well done. Ooh. Now I'm leaving this part in um, just because I want it to be like real as to what our schooling sessions are like and obviously I just mentioned how she's super nappy um, and I thought I would show you her being exactly that um, and as you can see I'm sitting very still I'm not like trying to absolutely push her forward because she will just get absolutely offended if I try to do that um, so a good thing that I found at the moment is literally just like being super vocal with her, ushering her on with my voice, giving her a tiny little squeeze and then giving her a scratch afterwards just to say, you know, well done, you did a good job in moving forward. Um, and yeah, it seems to be working out pretty well so far. <laughs> forward good girl well done good girl okay so now this next clip is me <laughs> attempting to get her into canter um in hindsight i probably could have waited until we had a more consistent trot good transition girl. um good but girl. i was just feeling brave and i was like you know what let me just try it out there's no harm in trying once um, so I did just try and get her into canter, um, just on a circle, um, and I did actually manage to get her into canter, um, which she was very, very excited about. I genuinely thought she was about to take off into space with me. She's, like, no. She's actually got quite Ooh. a quick canter for a little Ooh. pony. Um, Good girl. So yeah, it was very amusing, um, yeah, but I'm not well going done. to attempt canter anytime don't soon, me. I don't think, until we've got a consistent trot going on um just so i can you know keep those fluid transitions and don't bombard her brain too much but yeah this was a little bit of fun just just for the moment she's like a rocket well done you did it in the end very tired girl having some water some green water doesn't look very nice i'll get you some proper water over here oh i'm sweating very well behaved here. There we go. All right. Put your ears through that one. Put your ears through that one. There we go. Look at that. Now you're ultra protected from the flies, aren't you? 
time. So. so obviously I forgot to do an outro yet again. Um, so I'm just going to do one like this because obviously, as I said, I'm really sick and I've been in bed for probably about two days and I don't really fancy putting a camera to my face with the state that I'm in at the moment. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've got some fun things lined up. Uh, for the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned. I can't wait to vlog and upload that. So, yeah, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. It's Liv and Blondie, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!